What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you my super cheap yet super effective little at home power rack, power setup, weightlifting setup, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to do with it. This thing is awesome for the price. Um, I pieced all this stuff together individually. I did not buy this as a kit. I spent a good amount of time researching and kind of just finding stuff that's cheap but not absolute junk and I think I did a pretty good job so I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, the nice thing about this setup is it's extremely versatile. I mean, you can do squats, bench, deadlifts, uh, you name it, curls, shoulder press, basically every compound movement and more with this setup. So it's really awesome. I paid, I think, just a little, little over a hundred bucks for everything, which is pretty insane. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Starting off pretty boring, we just got a typical cap strength, memory foam bench, nothing crazy about it, no rips or anything. I've had this for about a year, I think it was like 30 bucks. It assembles really easily, and I mean, not much to be said about it. It's a bench, and it's comfortable, so it does its job. And then uh, kind of the two main things here that make this setup unique are these two individual little stands, racks, whatever you want to call it here. And I absolutely love these because of how cheap they were, how versatile, and they just get the job done for anybody who wants to squat at home or whatever. So you can see here, you've got all these different adjustments here. Um, I'm 6'3", and I easily fit under the this squat height right here with room to go up more if you were taller. And then um, here you can adjust your your bench height too, so you can raise and lower that, which is really awesome. And then, um, yeah, I mean, so I've had like up to 200 pounds on the bench and on the squat, no issues. It does get a little wobbly, which is expected if you're going to be doing a cheap at home squat thing, but it gets the job done without a doubt. And I've never had any issues of anything falling or breaking or seeming sketchy or anything. So yeah, and then we got a Amazon um, one inch diameter, uh, I believe 60 inch bar. I think this was like 20 bucks. Again, it's a bar, it gets the job done. It's 15 pounds, it's got grips on it. Not too much to say about that. I think it's kind of like a perfect length. It's not Olympic length. It is shorter, I think by like a foot or whatever, but it's perfect. I mean, I have long arms, like I said, I'm 6'3", and I'm not, I'm not even all the way out width-wise, and it's perfect for benching. And then um, here, I just got some really cheap plastic weights. I think I got these in like a set. Uh, it came with like 100 pounds worth of weights for like 30, 40 bucks. Again, everything will be in the description where you can buy all this stuff. In my opinion, weights are weights. Um, I mean, maybe these will start to deteriorate, deteriorate over time, but I've had them for a while and no issues. Um, and then these were just from Walmart. These were a little bit more pricey. So that, that's why I bought the plastic in the first place, but I needed more weight. So I did get some of these from Walmart. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's about it, guys. So uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, like I said, overall, no complaints, no issues. This is an awesome beginner setup. And uh, as long as you're not doing crazy heavy lifting, which most people aren't and probably wouldn't be watching this video, highly recommend this setup so uh yeah make sure to like comment subscribe again everything will be in the description so you can buy all this stuff for yourself have a great day